We're at Gen Con 50, celebrating uh, 50 years of Gen Con. We're at the Oni booth, talking to Steve Ellis about Oni Games, which was one of the surprise announcements leading up to the convention. Uh, so first, before we get into the where did this all come from, so what's your actually role with Oni Games? So for Oni Games, I'm going to be kind of playing a producer role for a bunch of our properties going forward. So we'll be doing games on some of our properties with existing game publishers. We're going to partner with them and some designers to kind of bring the properties to life in some new ways. So our goal is to produce a few quality games a year that really speak to the IP. Uh, we don't want to just slap a bunch of stuff on licenses. We want to really take some time and pair designers that are passionate about the properties with some publishers that are excited to work with us and utilize some of the art assets we have and things like that to make some really new. Oh, um, so where, where did they, I, it, it kind of came out of the blue. It wasn't something I was really expecting. Um, but where did the idea, like how long was it being worked on for the Oni Games to, to actually get to that announcement? So it's interesting. Uh, Charlie Chu from Oni Press and myself met probably about a year ago. And we've been working on a few projects and I've been helping out a little bit here and there. And just really kicking around the idea of doing an Oni Games brand for some time. I'd say we got serious back in about February this year and really decided to make it something we were going to work to. So we've been thinking about it a lot. We really got together with James and Charlie and myself and kind of mapped out a couple year plan, you know, kind of the two to five year thing, what we what might work, what might not work. You know, we looked at some other companies, what we liked and didn't like about the way some other companies have tried to do similar things. So we're hoping that this gives us a good opportunity to kind of dip our toe in the water, do some quality projects with some really good partners, and then see kind of where the future lies. If we have opportunities to do some other properties coming through Hollywood or things like that, we'll be well positioned to do that as well. So with, um, I mean, already you've got one game out with the Scott, building, Scott Pilgrim deck building game. Yep. Was that already in the works when Oni Games came about, or was that kind of like really the first step for the company? So uh, Scott Pilgrim was kind of an, a Charlie Chu initiative with Keith, Keith Baker in Portland, who I've done some stuff with as well. And so that was kind of a nice kickoff to, it's like, wow, you know, we should probably try to do this as more of a thing as opposed to just doing a game. You know, it became apparent that there's definitely kind of desire in the marketplace for some of these IPs. It seems like the gaming market is booming. There's a lot of interest in our existing fans for the Oni properties to play games. Mm -hmm. So why not try to blend the two in a more formal way? So we, setting it up as a Oni Games imprint is just a better way for us to kind of let the world know we're doing it. And it opens up all of those partnerships in a much more obvious way, right? As opposed to it's like, oh, maybe we'll shop this game around. It's kind of like, oh, we're actually open for business and we want to do these things. You know, we want to do this for real going forward. So, I mean, there, there's been a couple other publishers who've, who've recently launched board game spinoffs. It seems the difference here is that Oni Games is the brand and kind of more of a, like an IP management company as opposed to the game is coming out under Oni Games. It'll be in partnership with other game companies. Is that kind of, am I getting that somewhat right? Yeah, definitely. We want to partner with some existing game, game publishers because they already have a good feel for the hobby market. Right, they're also they've they've got the distribution deals in place and all that kind of stuff within the hobby gaming market. So we want to capitalize on that, and we want to focus on kind of pairing up the designers with the IP. We want to use people that are very excited about the books. We want to use people that know the properties well and can bring them to life for the fans. So we want to make some great games, but we also want to make sure we deliver to the existing fan base. Right, so. With Charlie's guidance on the IP, and he knows all the properties super, I mean, it's, it's amazing how well he knows everything, right? So, I mean, he's got that stuff down. He's familiar with the creators. You know, I've got a big background within the gaming industry itself. So pairing up those designers and making those things work is going to be kind of my role as producer to kind of work with the publishers and the designers to make sure that we really feel like we're delivering what we want, as opposed to slapping it on something, right? Which is what we don't want to do, right? Um, I mean, this might be more of a question for Charlie, but have, what was the reaction for some of the creators? Because Oni has a lot of creator-owned series. Um, there's immediately a few that jumped to my mind. These would be great games. Um, have you heard feedback yourself from the creators as to this announcement? 
Yeah, so several of the creators, I mean, this has been something since we started back in February, kind of kicking around. Obviously, a lot of the creators have been spoken with about options and things like that. Some of the creators are just head over heels excited about the potential. There's you know, I know are gamers. So. Yeah, so I mean, there's definitely some gamers in the studio, right? So there's some very active and excited people who really want to try to make something exciting happen. And uh, I'm sure there are some others that were more reserved that I don't, I'm not aware of, right? But I mean, I'm definitely aware of a significant handful that were very excited. Uh, though, so it was also interesting as around this announcement is when the the Dead of Winter comic came from games to comics. Yes. Now, Oni, uh, Oni Games is going from comics to games. Is that also part of it to get more games into comics as part of the the process too, or is that just a whole separate thing that you're not dealing with? So it's it's definitely a separate thing. <laughs> I mean, I think that that was really a passion project for some of the Oni staff. I mean, there was just this big draw to the Dead of Winter property. Um, and the opportunity to make a comic with a really interesting heroic figure in Sparky the Dog mm -hmm. is something that I think we were just drawn to. And so, I mean, that was a big passion project for Charlie and the Oni team. They just, they really went deep into that. And I think the work really oh, work. shows, yeah, right? It worked really well. So whether or not we would do something else like that, I think is completely unrelated to what we're doing in the gaming side. If something came along, maybe, but that was really a passion project. So the, um, as I mentioned before, the, the, the first game is out with the Scott, Bil Scott Pilgrim deck building game. Generally, like, what's, what's been the reaction to it? The reaction so far seems to be pretty good. <laughs> I mean, here at the show, people are really excited. I was at the Renegade booth for a while, which is the partnership for that, mm -hmm. that game. I spent some time over there today, and the fan reaction was pretty insane for the for the game, right? The the existing fans are super excited. I think it'll be interesting to see over the course of this weekend how the reaction is from the gamers who weren't necessarily Scott Pilgrim fans, yeah. because I think that'll be the thing that plays out over the course of the weekend, right? Today, the fans were all over it. You know, the existing Pilgrim fans were super excited, right? So it'll be interesting to see as the weekend plays out kind of what the reviews and the feedback are from the gamers who maybe are playing a copy from a friend who was a fan to see what the gamer feedback is as well. I think the gamers are going to be happy. Uh, the, game's, the game's good. I haven't played it yet. It's, one of, it's on my list of to do's for the convention. So yeah, I mean, the, the game is solid, right? And it's very true to the IP. I would say that if you enjoy Scott Pilgrim, you're going to love the game. If you are not a Scott Pilgrim fan, I think you're going to be surprised that there's a game there. Okay. It's not just a license. Makes sense. Uh, I know you have limited time, so final question. Is there any type of game that you would love to work on, like any genre that, like, not necessarily tying together the, the property to the game, but just a, I'd love to do this sort of game? Well, I've done a lot of gaming stuff already. Okay. So as far as a specific option, I think what kind of, we'll table that for now. <laughs> We've got a few things in the works. Um, we'll be announcing very soon the next game okay. that will be coming out. Um, the next game will definitely release for real in 2018, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll have an announcement very soon as to who our publishing partner is and all of those details. Cool. Well, I we're fairly far along on that. All right, well, I appreciate you talking. Yep, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Now, what you can do that would be really helpful is subscribe or visit our website. We've got links right here that makes this super easy. By subscribing, you'll make sure to get further videos down the road. And of course, visiting the website, you get all the greatest news. But just watching, we really, really appreciate it. Until next time, keep rolling those dice and keep it geeky.